Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, April 11th, 2017. For all Western New York news and radio, I'm Scott Leffler. A chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon with a high near 62 and an overnight low around 42. Wednesday will be mostly sunny with a high near 47. What's in the news? The New York State Bar Association called the new state budget, quote, a triumph for the cause of justice in New York, unquote. Particularly, they were pleased with measures that combat wrongful conviction, raise the age of criminal responsibility from 16 to 18, improve indigent criminal defense services, and seal certain criminal records. The $153 billion budget was approved by both houses of the New York State Legislature over the weekend. AAA Western and Central New York finds that warmer climates are drawing travelers from across the region for Easter trips. The weeks before and after Easter are always popular time periods for family getaways, with top automotive destinations including Florida, the Carolinas, Virginia, and D.C. Those flying are going even further south to places like Aruba, the Dominican, Cancun, and Caribbean cruises. Michael Oliver, age 26, of Rochester, pleaded guilty to possession with intent to distribute cocaine and carrying a firearm during a drug trafficking crime before U.S. District Judge Charles Siragusa. The charge carries a mandatory minimum penalty of five years in prison, a maximum of life, and a fine of $1 million. Prosecutors say a traffic stop resulted in Oliver being found with a loaded handgun and 13 bags of cocaine. Police News State police in Batavia continue to investigate the 39-year-old murder of Jessica Rose Lane. On November 25, 1977, the partially decomposed body of Jessica Rose Lane, who was then age 66, was found by two deer hunters in a wooded area off Ailey Road in the town of Darien. The victim was found fully clothed with three fractured ribs, a fractured left elbow, and a fractured skull, likely caused by stabbing. Lane was last seen November 11th of 1977 at Williamstown Apartments in Cheektowaga. The exact location of the crime has yet to be determined, but residents below the victim's apartment said they heard two thumps between the hours of 4 and 4.30 a.m. on November 12th of 1977. Lane, who resided alone, was known to keep to herself and rarely had visitors. Suspects have been developed, but no arrests have been made. Anyone with information regarding this investigation is asked to contact Investigator Ron Wilson of the State Police Bureau of Criminal Investigation in Batavia at 716-361-1585. A 23-year-old Jamestown man was charged with third-degree aggravated unlicensed operation and driving while ability impaired by drugs. State police say Brandon Daly was pulled over on Route 60 in Jamestown for a traffic violation. While talking to him, troopers smelled marijuana, which lent them finding marijuana smoking device inside the vehicle. Daly was placed under arrest after troopers determined him to be under the influence, and he was additionally charged with aggravated unlicensed operation due to driving with a suspended license. Sports! They couldn't both have undefeated seasons, but it's now four straight wins to start the season for the hot-hitting Buffalo Bisons as they defeated the Rochester Red Wings 9-4 on Monday, taking sole position of the top spot in the International League North Division. Both teams went into the contest with three wins and zero losses, and they're playing again this afternoon at Coca-Cola Field. Tonight's the night for the acoustic evening at Mr. Goodbar. Billy draws two. Mindy Davey, and Surrender Reality, each with an acoustic set on the second floor of the popular Elmwood Avenue bar. Sadly, Janie Crash and the Tall Men had to drop out. Too tall to fit into the bar, we think. We'll try to get them on a future bill, though. Okay, news done. Come say hi later. And if not, I'll be back here tomorrow doing the news. Say hi then. For all Western New York news and radio, I've been Scott Leveler. Have a great day.